Okay, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazine's Boat Test and I'm here with Luke Kirkby-Clark from Bayside Honda to test the Razorback 440 from Tabs and uh, Luke, this is a great entry level package for someone that wants to just get into boating, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great little boat for the family. It's uh, got a fair bit of size about it, super stable in the water and very safe. Before we even start, what would it cost to get into one of these boats straight off the bat? Uh, good price for your first boat, it's around the 20000 mark. Um, and also small enough so that one person can use it by themselves? Yeah, definitely one person, easy to handle. Drive on trailer, uh, which makes it a lot easier as well if you're on your own. Now, this is a Tabs boat made on the Gold Coast in Queensland, and I noticed the sides of this boat are a straight plate, and they're not the, the clinkered sides that people might be used to. What's the advantage of a plate boat over a clinkered boat? Well, the plate boat, the plate sides are going to be a lot heavier than the, uh, than the clinkered sides. So the clinkered sides are around 1.6 to 2 mil, whereas with the plate boat, you've got a 3 mil side starting, uh, which means the boat's a lot stronger and a lot heavier, which you do a better ride in the water. So people might think that a lighter boat's better, but in the water, a heavier boat actually cushions the blow of that water, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely a heavier boat. It's a lot more stable too, so you can walk around with, uh, without the boat feeling like it's going to rock over on your tip. Now I notice this boat's on an oceanic trailer, again made on the Gold Coast, and this one doesn't have brakes on it, so it's towable by virtually any car on the market? Yeah, any four-cylinder car will tow that. It's uh, any car with a tow bar, basically, will be able to handle it. Um, I look on the inside of this boat and it's it's got seat bases, but it's got some side pockets, but it's pretty pretty open, so the world's your oyster nearly with what you want to do in this. You could, I suppose you could crab in it, you could fish in it. I notice there's a Minn Kota uh, bracket up the front. Is the Minn Kota bracket standard on all of these Tabs boats? Yeah, it is standard. The Minn Kota comes standard on all of them. Um, tell us a little bit about the Honda. You've got expertise at Honda, of course. Um, this is a, a 40 horsepower tiller steer, but it's not your standard pull tiller. It's got electric start and power trim and tilt. Tell us about all those bells and whistles. Yeah, so with a, a lot of people think tiller steer is going to be quite hard, but with the power trim and tilt and the electric start, it makes it quite enjoyable and it's actually a really fun boat to drive. Uh, yeah, it takes the worry out of it. You've got a key on the tiller handle that you just turn and the engine will start, and also on the tiller handle there's a trim button that will trim it up and down as well. Now, this is, hasn't got a built-in fuel tank, this boat. It's just got the remote 25-litre tank. Yeah. What sort of range are we going to get out of that with this 40? I assume it's a long way. Yeah, with the 40, you're going to use about 4 litres an hour average. So you've got about 5 or 6 hours worth of running, about 40 kilometres an hour. So you're going to have you know, nearly 200 kilometre range on that one tank. So if you get a uh, $25 fuel bill from a day on the on the water, you're a bit of a genius, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, also, the four strokes burn no oil, so you don't have to bother about either mixing your oil or filling an oil reservoir. So it's a two-stroke owner. I'm sure I can appreciate yep. appreciate that. Um, this one's set up with a bimini. Um, it's not an expensive option to put the bimini on, is it? No, no, the bimini you can get for under $500. Um, and I know when you want to take the family out boating, they like a little bit of shade, so that is that is a probably a popular option. Yeah, definitely. Now, you sell these boats day in, day out. What do you think the big advantages of these boats are? Oh, this boat's an ideal boat for the family. I like the, uh, the lower casting platform in it because it's a saltwater version of the boat. Uh, lower casting platform, you can put a cushion on top and it doubles as a seat for the kids. And you're not going to lose any kids over the side of this, are you? Nah, definitely not. Well, you hope not. <laughs> There, I noticed there's, there's already um, side pockets in it, so you've of course got under deck storage, under that casting deck, but you can also keep all of your knickknacks in those side pockets. Yeah, you know, Basically there's not a lot of money you need to spend on this boat to make it ready for a day's fishing. No, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, you can upgrade it if you want with nav lights and a, and a bilge pump kit, but as it sits, yeah, you can definitely use it any time during the day and it'll be fine. I've seen on a lot of these little boats now this little mini console that you got. Uh, what do you put in that? Yeah, the mini console is a really good idea. We add it to all the boats. Uh, basically, what it does is steps the sounder back off the side of the boat, so you don't have to worry about your sounder getting knocked off. It's a good place to put a switch panel and any other instruments you might want to add an hour meter in there. So it's just a really handy little area to have.